Hello, Westminster Woods on Julington Creek. Chaplain Leslie bringing you our Tuesday community prayer for today, which is October the 15th. Last week I shared part one of a rather lengthy poem by poet Anne Weems entitled, I Celebrate the Church of Jesus Christ. I decided last week that I would share it with you in two parts. So today you'll get the second half of that poem from last week. And so it, it picks up part way through. Hopefully it will, will make sense. I think so. Um, many of the themes and the ideas that she had last week are repeated um, and shared in beautiful ways in today's second half of that poem, again entitled, I Celebrate the Church of Jesus Christ. I cannot live abundantly without this community, God's church. We're turning to one another and working and rejoicing with one another is a way of life. A way of life God chose for us. A gift God gave us. A mission that we share. A mission that cuts across barriers, racial and cultural, national and international. A mission that unites local and regional men and women, young and old. I celebrate the way of life that takes me and mine from the center of things and focuses on ours and theirs. I celebrate the trust we hold, the spirit we share, the attitude of partnership. I celebrate the love that lives among us, that God's spirit pervades our beings, our community. I see God's face within the lives of the celebrants. I hear God's voice in the vision of men and women who call us to a better way, a higher hope. For God works miracles in common clay pots, changing caterpillars to butterflies and water to wine, changing seeds to oak trees and night to day changing winter to springtime, changing lives from ordinary to abundant. We as God's celebrants dance through this world together, listening for God's music, responding to God's word, praising God with clapping hands and moving feet, praising God with justice and mercy and humbleness praising God with changed lives. Let's celebrate the church of Jesus Christ where the wonderful wildness of God breaks through common clay pots and fills us with a Holy Spirit that overflows and we see rainbows, many splendid colors, light in pitch darkness, and every day, is a festival of faith. Let us pray. Lord, for these beautiful images of community and being together and listening to one another and loving one another, Lord, we thank you that you are in our midst every moment of every day. Lord, I humbly ask that you continue to bless each of us. Thank you for seeing us through the storms last week. And I pray that for those who are still recovering and will be, for a long time, that you surround them with your love, enable them to find folks who are there to help them through these most difficult times, that they will find blessings sometimes in the little things, as we oftentimes do. All these things we lift up, God, in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, good people. And until next time, peace.